today caught on uh, the primo original magic bait primo original dip bait oh wait a second not this one the other one's got the primo original and this is the same stick it punch bait that we cut the two on the other day and using one of the spring hooks this is the i believe that's a number four long shank spring hook uh it's all my magic bait but anyways um the i hung my pole holder in the ground wrong and I put, I just casted the pole out, turned around, and I look back at the, my pole's bending, and then the next minute it's five feet out in the water. That's where I'm a little bit soaked. Got my arm, I got at least one leg went under, and this I tried to grab it, but it didn't work. So, Justin, who is operating the camera right now, cast it out there, caught my pole, got it in, and uh, still had this pip squeak on it. I was hoping it was some monster, but we don't have very many big ones in our tank. This is old channel cat, and I'm trying to get my stinking line on tail. Boop. There we go. There's the fish. With this is the third casualty, and two, we went two trips, and this is the third casualty from their stick it punch bait. So. I'm guessing this guy's maybe a pound, but I'll take him. This one, I got him good. It went right through. It's right there, right at his eye practically. And the other one went through, and it's sticking outside it's, of his mouth. The line keeps jerking around. Well, let's see if I've got something on it. I don't think I do. I don't think you've got anything on it, but there's something messing with it. Oh, well, maybe we should. Get this guy off the line and get back to fishing. So hopefully we can get whoever's messing messing with my pole. So first catch for the day, about a one pound channel cat on their stick it with the spring hook. There we go. Oh, and I caught this fella on uh, Magic Baits, Magic Baits uh, carp and catfish bait. I was fishing for catfish, but uh, he went to jacking with it, and I hooked him in the. I don't know. It didn't, it didn't even hook him in the mouth. Just I hooked him right down here in the, between the, this fin and his gills. So, all right, fish number two for the day. Joseph caught him on Magic Bait's Beef Blood. Got him. He all, he swallowed that hook pretty good, didn't he? But caught him right over there under that willow tree where we normally catch all the bluegill. And uh, is that where you caught him? So he's definitely won it because he swallowed that. Look, boy, howdy. I don't know how we're gonna well, get We this haven't thing. had much action on the other lines, got a few bites, but anyways, fish number two for the day. We're fixing to weigh him up on our 50 year old scales, and then we'll be put on the stringer. stringer. Okay, we finally got a catfish, and he is very vocal. He got whoa, 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 at us. That's what I'm guessing is anywhere between one, two pounds, um, which is decent for our tank, anyways. I ain't very big, but I caught him on a mixture of the Primo Original and the Primo Blood from Magic Bait, and you can see I've got one of their green bait holders. Kind of slipped down my leader line and. There's the foam when the treble hook right there in his mouth. Yes, Joseph just got it. Didn't even have his water, his line back in the water. Also, my line started bending out straight. So, got in a nice big flapping catfish. The first one for this pole. For my new pole. Joseph just pulled out my first catfish, put it, 
put his on the stringer with it. So we've all of a sudden went from one catfish to three. So nice. Make sure the Primo original and the Primo blood are magic bait. All right, this is catfish number three for me. Fourth one of the day for all of us. Um, you see, it's by far the biggest one we've caught. I'm gonna judge he's about three pounds. I caught him on the Primo blood. It went out there very long and bamo. But he just had to go get tangled up in my other line before I got him in, so. Anyways, a nice, nice big cat. Let's go ahead and put the scales on him and see how much he weighs. Catfish. He's going to get away if you're not careful. I'm going to give him a good fish. He is a fighter. Fish, you're gonna have to cooperate here. He comes out like right at three, it looks like. Mm, I can't really see it. Yeah. It goes two, four, six. You go up by two, and it's right between the two and the four. So I'm just gonna say he's three pounds. Nice big channel cat, primo blood. Got one. Dang, that one of bluegill just popped out of the water. Whoa! That's bigger than mine. Dang, Joseph. Look at the size of that fish. Wow. Yeah, I'll say the round hooks work. Yep. Look at that. Gama I don't know how you say the word gamasku or something. Ground hook is in, I believe, a number five. What were you using for bait? Shed. Whopper shed? Nothing. Why don't you drop a pole right there on the edge of the shadow? Because I've caught two right there so far. That is a big fish. What do you reckon he's at? I'm guessing three pounds. Three and a half. Three and a half, somewhere in here. Okay, be still. I'm going to guess four. That's about my, that my, the four pounder I caught was about that size. So, got him on Whopper Shed by Magic Bait. It's tearing up those channel cats, at least. That's the only kind of catfish trap in our tank. So, my line's still tangled. Haven't got it untangled yet, but as soon as I do, hopefully we'll bring, that will bring in some more fish for us. And if you don't know, here is what a circle hook looks like. And it is designed so that when a fish bites it, on it sets itself. Um, so it's great, especially if you're gonna have it on a pole holder somewhere where you may not be able to take and set the hook. It practically sets itself. So they are pretty expensive, but hey, the scales. there we go. It's they're around here. Let's I have to go back and come. Got her. That's a, that's a pretty big channel cat, especially for our tank. Yeah, had some good eating. Oh, yeah. Yep. The problem was, last year, we didn't fish for catfish much, but I was feeding the catfish, and I was seeing a bunch of big ones like that, but we could never catch them, but that's magic bait sent us that stuff. We've been slamming the daylights out of them, so... Don't you go nowhere, fish. Dang. Bite you? Yeah, I think it's his blood. Yeah, that's blood out of his mouth. Is that about four, it looks like? No, uh. about three and a half, I'll say. So, that's a pretty decent cat. Not bad. Look at that. Nice when you pull those things up and you see that great big old head. 
Yeah, he looks like King Kong or Dracula or something now. Yeah, well, okay. Get my line untangled and we'll get back to fishing. N uh, number five for the day? Yeah. That, sure, they, that one sure makes all the first ones we caught look like peewees. Catfish number half dozen. Uh, caught on the same Primo blood. Stuff, all I do is just dip it in there and whop out just a big old glob, however much comes out on it. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Well, while he's talking to you, you can probably be able to see that, how far that is down his throat. He just grabbed it and swallowed it. I saw my line doing crazy things. Sat there for a minute and did it again, so I just gave it a good pop and got him. We're going to go ahead and weed this bad boy up. Uh, it don't really matter how much he weighs, we're going to eat him anyway, so. Come on, take that hook. Take it. Fish. Uh, he comes out to about two and a half pounds. I don't know if you can see that on these on the scales. No, not really. It comes out to about two and a half pounds. Catfish number six for the day. Finally starting to get into the little bit bigger ones now, so. Don't have much time left. We'll go in and get a line back out in the water see if we can get another one.